miracles we saw last night. And DJ Mitchell with Jaden Bediaco, the freshman, at a strong game. I'm trying to find something near the, like right there where you put the hand. So here we go. And a turnover again by Santa Clara. We look, they go right at that room. Cameron Edwards. Jalen Williams hangs, falls off, rebound tipped out to Cameron Edwards. He attacks in transition. Edwards makes it 9 0 Pepperdine. Victor Ohia Obioha in the game for Pepperdine. A sophomore from Nigeria with Kessler Edwards sitting in the two fouls. It's really frustrating when you get the ball where you want it. They've had it twice. You know, they, they, coach, they had it twice where they want it to the score. Cameron Edwards to the bucket. This game. Off balance. The tip from Jaden Pediaco, and it's controlled by Altman. And let's face it, all year he, he's kind of had to take a back seat to the Edwards brothers and Colby Ross, where he was more of a role than anything inside. I think they tried to go inside, but not, nothing happened. And Pepperdine's quickness has been a, has been an issue for Santa Clara. Stepping out. From long range of three, Cameron Edwards. A little too quick. I mean, they're, they're looking how to you know, down 17 to try to make something happen right away. I, I, Mitchell's made a few, though. If anybody's in a green light, maybe you green light him. I used to always tell my guys every year, you could have a pretty good team, right? If you, I mean, they've got so many great. 73% foul shooter. It's both. One for 10 in the first half. You would probably say Pepperdine's down 15 instead of up 15. So great effort by everyone else for the Waves. Pepperdine's not giving him much. Nine for DJ Mitchell. He leads Santa Clara. You would expect, though, that Ross is going to have a big second half. I mean, it would be a real upset if he can't come back and, and at least get to 12 or 14 points. So I've seen him have a big second half before when he's kind of blanketed in the first half. Foul on the drive on... You know, I'm sure he's looking for something, but he ends well, up with the best ball. Passer. Yeah, now watch. He ends up with the ball like every single time. Would you guys do that with your best passer? Best passer for me always took the ball out of bounds. I always Back wanted the day, I wanted I wanted the guy to take it out of bounds and make sure he can get it in. I always wanted a bigger player. You can see it. It starts on the defensive side. We have got to get stops. He used the word kill. He wants three consecutive stops defensively, more so than he wants a good shot. And he actually. Herb just goes ahead and puts in his post guy. Aren't you glad you don't have these decisions <laughs> to make anymore? <laughs> this side has is, is got. He, uh, he beats, gets an angle, gets, beats that initial defender. He, that's going to stay with him here. I don't think he's got any other choice. I mean. I think Lorenzo would like to get something at the basket right here. He's still, you know, that, that two, two, uh, three corners. Count it. Watch his team miss two threes, and then he, he grabbed that, you know, their attention. So let's go right down inside. Getting their time. They're setting some screens. They're not coming down looking for a, a quick long-range shot. And they're playing, I think, a much better tempo to control the game. Here goes Ross again. And a foul on the drive. And the Ortiz in, in one situation. Rattles out from here. 14. 14. And uh, how many? I, I remember I got one in this tournament. Hey, 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 hey,